I love these fabulous children's astrology books by Donna McGarry. They're delightful, whimsical, and entertaining. Visit Zodiacs.com. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2014, General Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, we will have Mercury enter your sign late this month, on the 28th of this month. Now, other stuff is happening in the earlier part of the month. I'll talk about that in just a second, but I do want to give you a little bit of a heads up of what is coming up ahead to put into context the events that are taking place for you now. And so on the 28th, Mercury will enter your sign. And this is a date that you want to watch. You want to put a star on your calendar on this date. The other dates you also want to, looking ahead, are October 10th and November 9th, because this is the exact spot that Mercury will return to, especially next month once Mercury goes direct. And so, sorry, once Mercury goes retrograde. So this month, Mercury is spending most of the month in the sign just before yours, enters your sign late in the month, and spends the first few days, really the first 10 days, of next month in your sign before retrograding back into the sign just before yours and then will return to that very spot once again November 10th will re-enter your sign and so I'd like you to think of the things that begin for you now as part of a continuous journey as part of themes that start to arise now that you will return to and the official date that mercury enters shadow so those regular viewers especially those who watch the weekly horoscopes know i like to talk about the shadow period as much as the retrograde period so essentially the shadow period of mercury is when he enters the exact pathway he will walk over again once he is retrograde and then again once he's direct again so it is the pathway that mercury will walk over ultimately three times that pathway starts on the 15th of this month however as i said those hot dates for you the dates when the moment when Mercury enters your sign. You will see happenings, if you will, in your life. Now, what I find also really interesting is that what we have happening for you next month is a eclipse taking place in your sign in the second part of the month at the very beginning of your sign. So I look at this and it tells me that Right now, you are in the middle of or starting to gather some very important experiences, and it will take you a little bit of time to flush these out, but a part of me just wants to say to you, you ain't seen nothing yet, because once that eclipse comes next month, it's like, wow, new information, new understanding, who you really are, what you really want, all of that is going to start to go through a significant burst, really, of growth, of evolution, and of progress as well. But you are going to see progress this month also. So let's bring the energy back to what's taking place this month, the first four weeks of the month in particular. So focusing in on this month, on the early part of this month, one thing that just really stands out to me is right around... Uh, middle of the month okay just before a couple of days before we have a new moon taking place um, depending on where you are on the planet between the 23rd or so um, and a couple of days before that what we have happening that's especially significant for you is Pluto your modern ruling planet will go direct after spending the last few months in retrograde this to me is by far the most significant happening that you are going to be experiencing this month. And actually, I want you to start paying attention to that date I gave you, the 15th of the month, because it's right around that time that Pluto is going to slow right down to a standstill. And it really is between the 15th and the 21st that you really want to pay attention to what's happening in your life, because that is when your ruling planet, which is essentially your representation in the sky, will be at its most 
potent. The energy will be at its most focused and its most relevant for you as well. Now, right now, Pluto is over the course of this decade and into the next moving through um, a sign that is uh, just three signs ahead of you. And this sign is Capricorn gets along very well with your sign. And right now you've got Saturn, as I talk about quite a bit, you've got Saturn in your sign. And Saturn is the ruling planet of Capricorn. So what we have happening here is what astrologers call mutual reception. So you are hosting the planet of the sign that is hosting your planet. And so there's sort of a natural, easy flow of energy taking place here. The two signs, the two planets have a certain resonance, if you will. They have a certain connection, if you will, if they were not in what we call mutual reception. This to me is really fascinating because it does suggest to me that, um, and especially considering that Pluto is gonna be at its most potent, this to me represents a real important moment for you. A moment when you can feel a lot of things coming together for you. You can feel your energy ready to go forward and start to do the things that maybe you've been holding yourself back a little bit, maybe have felt like they're stagnating a little bit. If there's any sign that's going to feel a shift in energy, powerfully so, it is gonna be you. However, as much as there's this part of you, and especially I see you talking to people, I see people returning your phone calls where you felt that you wish people were communicating with you more. And this is part of that mutual reception really playing out. And especially where it was that you wanted to talk to people who you thought in some way could um, add stability to your life, whether that was in a practical sense in terms of uh, actual opportunity or people who are higher ups or supervisory roles, or whether it's people who you feel can add an element of stability with their wisdom, with their knowledge. There is an element here playing out where there's going to be a part of you that exhales out, oh, finally, okay, I feel like I can get through to people. I feel like the connections are happening with people. However, as I said, the new moon is happening right around the same time, and this is a new moon taking place in the sign just before yours. And I find this intriguing as well for you because the sign just before yours is not one normally associated with a lot of forward action. When there is a celestial phenomenon taking place in the sign before yours, it does tend to speak to um, a really a, a much more deeper understanding, almost a subconscious shift, an energetic understanding that often reveals itself in our dreams. However, this new moon is taking place right at the beginning of its sign. And so this suggests to me that it's almost as if you get some really valuable insights, especially in the dream space, but you recognize that this is just starting you off somewhere. It's like, okay, great, I've had this insight. Now, how do I implement this more fully so that it matters? Because you have the drive, and on some level, you also have a sense of clarity. And energetically, you will feel a shift on different levels. You feel a shift in terms of you're ready to move forward. You feel a shift in terms also of this particular new moon allowing you to just really release what it is that you no longer need, get rid of any kind of residuals from the past that are getting in the way of your happiness. Um, for some of you, also I gotta say, this is about recognition that your life has been guided and it certainly has been. And for some of you, I gotta be really honest with you about this. Uh, I've been a little resistant to actually say this, but I do wanna be very honest. I think all of us at some point in time, um, we go through phases where we look back and say, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I acted like that. I can't believe that I was so driven by fear and I didn't realize it, that I was being so obsessive, that I was being compulsive, that I was thinking so much about that person when really they didn't matter at all to the fullness of my life. And it's almost like when there's a new moon taking place and especially at the beginning of, your sign, beginning of the sign, in the sign just before yours, it's almost like you have that kind of moment. You have that moment that where you go, wow, oh my God, I can't believe I was that way.
I can't believe I felt that way in particular. I am ready to see myself differently so I no longer have to carry on with that kind of, that kind of behavior that doesn't really encapsulate who it is that you really know yourself to be at your highest. And so there is an element here of cleansing. There is an element here of seeing what's happening on sort of your own unconscious levels where maybe you were sabotaging yourself. Maybe you were behaving in ways when you knew better. And now you're really ready to acknowledge that and let that go so that you can step into a version of yourself that you feel better about and that you feel really good about. And that's ultimately where it is that you are headed. In the month of July, remember in the month of July, Saturn went direct in your sign. So now Saturn's chugging forward. This month, as your ruling planet, your modern ruling planet goes direct, it does suggest that something within you, whatever it was, yes, you may have felt a shift earlier, but if there had been anything within you that still felt a little hesitant, still felt like you weren't able to really make the kind of progress you wanted to, now that part of you shifts in some really important ways, in some very beautiful ways for you as well. I do think also that you are reaching a new clarity on a very deep level as to who it is that you really are. And not only that, you are starting a process where you're exploring, not just in the dreamscape, not just in the energetic place, where who am I really? but also on a level of intellect as well. That's what you're preparing for. The changes are gonna start now, they're gonna start on a level of energy and on a level of understanding that takes place really in your gut and in your heart. Let that guide you and the intellectual understanding will come in its own time as well. But let your intuition, let your feelings guide you, particularly around the middle of the month, your intuition is gonna be so powerful, so strong, and it can really lead you to have a key meeting with somebody, a key connection with somebody, a spontaneous move that leads you into just the perfect circumstance. Trust it, and when you see yourself guided, by emotions that you know are not what you want to indulge, honor that. Allow your sense of knowing that you actually have something to give, you actually have something to do, even if it isn't very clear at all times. Allow that sense of knowing that there actually is some purpose taking place for you, even if it isn't clear in every single moment. And just that knowing and your sense of self-trust really can make amazing things happen for you.